Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Darksafe Walker, and today I've got a build that I'm going to be throwing together. <clears throat> and let's be fair, this is not my build, so I am doing a another another request. This time, the idea behind the run is that I completely miss the Arcana that I'm supposed to be using and go scrolling backwards because fuck it. There we go. So the idea is use the fading pedal to to pull enemies towards myself and then light them up with with the flame cleaver. So in general, combat will basically look like that. They even have similar cooldowns, imagine that. Now, I like the idea of doing a run like this with the Hunter Stiletto. The actual request was for Ring of Reserves, so, you know, who am I to argue? We'll go ahead and do it with the Ring of Reserves. As far as the dash, we're going to use Wave Front, because I love Wave Front. For the basic, we are going to do... I mean, what sounds fair? Do I want to throw something at somebody? Do I want to slap the crap out of them with a whip? Do I want to throw rocks? Well, it's kind of set up that I have a wide spread of elements, so maybe I should do either electric or earth. And I think, if I'm going to do electric, I want to do Volt Rail. Actually, no, I use, volt, I use Volt Rail a lot, just because I've been, I've been using it as part of the build that I've been using to try to take down Super Saiyan Sura, which, to answer a question that was brought up earlier, no, I haven't beaten him yet. I'm very, very close. Like, it's... I'm like a hair's breadth away from being able to say that I've beaten him fairly without using the, you know, armor knockback cheese. But just haven't quite gotten there yet, so don't worry, you guys will see when I do it. So here we go, this is a very interesting place to start because, of, because I actually have nothing that's effective against them. Alright, so, what are we looking for in this run? Well, I'm looking... Oh, that sucked. Alright, well, that's at least a free upgrade. I'm not gonna complain about that. So, obviously, I didn't... I didn't do an didn't do an episode this morning, mostly because I mean I'm sorry, but I felt I felt the need to sleep in. I was really comfortable. The weather was nice last night. And I just thought, you know, this seems like a good time to just chill a little bit and just let it, let everything just kind of wash over me. Alright, so I definitely see how this build works, though I think I should have gone actually with something a little, something a little bit more close range to capitalize on the, on the fading petals drawing enemies closer to me. So, I don't know, maybe the, maybe the whip would have been a better choice, but... That is all hindsight, and let's be fair, the primary combo is Fading Petal and Flame Cleave. 
And yeah, actually I'm kind of digging it. For a moment I forgot what I was doing. That is my fault. Takes a bit of getting used to, though, I'm not gonna lie about that. Well, I mean, I would be stupid not to take Jade's Jewel Tiara, I mean, come on. Who doesn't like a tiara that's bigger than their own head? Hello, what do you have for me, sir? I mean... The obvious thing to do here would be to max out at 999 Chaos Gems and then pick up the Pewter Bracelet for later use. I mean, that just seems like the obvious thing to do there. I mean, anything else would be folly. Alright, everyone's bunched together. Yay, I'm a genus! Alright, well, definitely upgrade Wavefront. I wouldn't mind getting Violent Thornstorm, to be honest, but not gonna have that much money. And I definitely think now, looking at it, that Volt Rail, or not Volt Rail, Volt Disc was a bit of a mistake for this run. I definitely should have taken something that that I could capitalize off of a little bit better. What I'm noticing is that the Fading Petals actually has a greater pull effect than Flame Cleaver's Knockback. So, what I should have done, and this is obviously before I knew exactly what the knockback values on these spells would be, is I should have gone, instead of Volt Disc, I probably should have gone with either the Bladed Vines or... You know, Bladed Vines, Bolt Rail, or the Fist. Those would have been the better choices. But, you know, hindsight is 2020, and no use crying over spilt milk and, you know, other... Can you go away now, please? Okay, stupid minions, go away. That was not smart. It was that. Hmm, and actually, I can afford Violent Thornstorm. Let's see. And it'll give me yet another status effect to work with, which makes me really, really, really want either Captain's Ring or Hunter's Stiletto. But I think, instead of taking Violent Thornstorm, I'm just going to move forward. This will give me a little extra money to work with on this floor, and hopefully I'll find some decent things to work with. It's either that or I'm going to go, No, oh, why didn't I take the Thorn Star? Says Skeletor. I could have beaten you if only I had taken the Thorn Star. Also thinking this is until it gets upgraded, Volt Disc is kinda garbage. I 
I see you up there, Anders. You can't hide from me. Although, the problem is you don't really have anything I want. I mean, that's just more money for Arcana. Oh, and I can just give you the token. Beautiful. More damage, more run speed, more HP, more critical chance. What's not to love? Um, okay, so what do we have here? Um, Shock Nova, Spiraling Typhoon. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of leaning towards Spiraling Typhoon at the moment. And my problem with Spiral Rumblers is that it's kind of awkward to use. But I am going to go ahead and grab Spiraling Typhoon. That gives me another ranged option, as well as something really good to use against. Against Atlas. Well, I mean, that actually kind of fulfills what I was talking about, about something nice to use at close range. It's actually kind of a beautiful combo. So what I have set up right now would just go Petal, Flame, Petal, Flame, Petal, Flame, and then the Typhoon. Though first you need to find something that's going to survive the initial, you know, Petal, Flame times three. So, what you are noticing is that it's taking me a little bit to get used to the rhythm here. That's why I'm still getting kind of beat up. Ow. Ow. Okay, you guys all have to go away. take that Thunderstone. Hey, seriously, it doesn't get any better than that. And then, yes, I will take the Spiral Rumblers. As you can see, it's, it does a good job at controlling an area, and it's one of those spells that I have kind of some issues with it, but at the same time, I also openly admit that this is one of those spells that is actually better against larger enemies than it is against books. And the reasoning for that is, is because it doesn't have a lot of knockback. And matter of fact, the drill hits the same hits the same target multiple times, which because which when coupled with the light knockback, actually creates. <laughs> actually creates an effect where singular enemies don't get hit that much by it, because, yeah. I'm stupid. But larger enemies, it will hit them more often. Which one is embracing vines? Oh, yeah, I don't care. Honestly, I, didn't, I don't care about either of the vine ones.
So really what Spiral Rumblers will work out to be in the long run is just decent area control. not turn down free health, since I am getting beat up. So I can definitely see the, see the appeal here. Being able to do that three times layers on quite a bit of damage. Um, I mean, I could, well, no, because then I'd end up getting rid of Fading Petal. I don't want to get rid of Fading Petal, because that's kind of the whole point of this combo. It also does a good job of charging up Signature, like, this is actually a really fun combo. But I still think a different Signature would have been a better idea, but I'm not going to harp on about that forever. Oh, there's the Spiral Rumblers upgrade. Now what does the upgrade do? Drills gain an explosive finale! Alright, I like that idea, I really do, but I am going to wait until I've seen what Anders has for sale. This is right now, it's just a matter of I'm not entirely sure where I want to spend my money. <laughs> now I am sure. Wanderer's Mechanism will just make everything that much better. And since that's a primary part of my combo here, I'd say that that's definitely a strong pickup. Now I can still afford the Spiral Rumblers upgrade, or I could see what other Relics Anders has in store, because I know I liked a few of them. Still can't really make good use of Nocturne, because he's still going to take the Fading Petals, which I want. I do not want to get rid of Fading Petals. I would not like them on a plane, I would not like them on a train. Beautiful. It's hard to argue with just an expanding fan of flames. And don't get me wrong, you can argue, but your argument will pretty much be moot. Water cushion. the other thing I was thinking. This water cushion is pretty fantastic. I think I'm just going to do that and stop debating it. Plus this is a good chance for Plus this is a really good chance for me to really toy around with Spiral Rumblers, see what I actually think of it. Alright. I mean, let's be fair, Spiral Rumblers isn't going to do shit against Atlas, but... 
I think I have the tools necessary to fight Atlas. Also, I just realized I forgot to go back to pick up the pewter bracelet, didn't I? Ow. Well, that's something that's gonna haunt me for a while. So here's hoping that something comes along that helps me redeem that mistake. Probably won't, but... Hey, at least, I, at least I realized that I made the mistake, but it doesn't change the fact that right now I could have a pewter bracelet. Just helping me build up my damage. So yeah, that's painful. And I even said the plan out loud too. It's like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna build up to maximum maximum gems so that I can make good so that I can make really good use of of Jade's jewel tiara, and then I'll go back and grab the pewter bracelet because that will be and that'll be the plan. And I didn't do that, and I feel stupid now. Especially with the litany of more or less subpar charms that are coming up. I don't really mean charms, but I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter stories too, and right now that's the word that's on my brain. Charms. Hey, there's the Fading Petal upgrade. Alright. Hold on, what if it's Dr. Song, though? I want to be able to effectively use that if the red portal is Dr. Song. And we still don't know. But at least we found the end. I do really like the Fading Petal Flame Cleave combo. Like, I know I've pretty much already said that, but it bears repeating because it is more fun than I thought it was going to be. Hey, it was Dr. Song! Yeah, for once, something I said actually turned out right! Alright, Doctor, I am going to give you my Fading Petal, and you're going to give me a Renewing Potion Vi- actually, I kind of like that. And I was really hoping, okay, it better be critical placebos or there's going to be anger in my future. But no, actually, because I am kind of getting beat up, it's nice to have that. Oh, I didn't even see that. That was the Bolt Disc upgrade. God. Alright, my my brain is not functioning properly. Increased damage and movement speed. I mean, for 100, why not? It's only a 5% bonus to damage, but it's also a 5% bonus to movement speed, and that could have all sorts of positive effects. Cold feet, ice puns. She's using the ice puns.
nice. That was a pretty clean fight if I do say so myself. And no, I don't want Field Berserk. Can't you see I'm running with a Fading Cleave combo? Yeah, that, yeah there we go. Fading Cleave. Perfect. Sweet, I'm going to pretend like I came up with that. Okay, you can eat my ass. Oh, hold on. See. I saw the boss room right away. Better go get it. <sighs> I hate Earth Knights. Oh, hey, it's Taffy. Hello, Taffy. Um, big punch. I'll definitely take that in place of that. And I'll also use it in place of the Spiral Rumblers. It's awfully hard not to go wrong with a big punch. Even if it does only have a hit, a hit rate of 90% instead of 100. And you know, base power of 75. At least I think it's 75. Has anyone here played Pokemon more recently than me? Because I don't remember what Mega Punch is all about. Oh my god, he gave away the joke! Shut up. I like it. I'm gonna stick with what I have. Hopefully, next floor you'll have a big win. Well, I already have two. Floors, Right up the ass. Now I now I have to think of the image of the frozen anal probe that I just gave myself. Not the probe, but the image. Don't 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 take that the wrong way. The only probing I gave myself was a was a deep insight as to where I keep going wrong with my super sewer fights. Which, to be fair, the answer is, I make bad dodges. But I mean, like, like I mentioned earlier, I'm very close to beating him on my own terms. Like, I know how to, I know, I now know how to get consistent damage off on him, and... There are a number of fights where I've had him below 20% health. It's just a matter of getting that to happen on a consistent basis without getting destroyed. Like, like, with, like what is happening right now, because the game has just decided that the only possible outcome is death in a corner. So now I could really use that shop because I need to And considering that I've uncovered every part of the floor except for the other vendors... Here we go. Here we go. Alright, I think... I think I'm okay now. Yeah, 
just got trapped in a corner and mauled. Just one, just one room, and that was it. Just got destroyed. So that would be my greatest tip to you: is don't let that happen to your room. Don't don't let yourself get destroyed in a corner. I don't really want Tozy's pocket watch because I like to be able to charge up my signature a little faster. Yeah, negative 51 points on damage. That was pretty horrible. You know, Dark Sage, between this and the Quantum Edge run that you lost, are you losing your touch? No, what happened was I made a mistake. We all make mistakes. Because that particular mistake happened to cost me a lot more than I wanted it to cost. That was also a mistake. A very stupid one, but a mistake nonetheless. of Burton. Would that be useful to me right now? I mean, with only one... With only one cursed relic, it wouldn't do much. Simultaneously, it would increase the stun time of my Arcana, which could be worth a lot. Eh, what the hell. I'll take it. Hmm. <clears throat> Pardon me, I have hiccups, apparently. I can only hope that they don't last very long, because my hiccups tend to be strong and painful. It's like, it's not just a quick jolt of the diaphragm, it's just all the air that's in my body when I, when I hiccup just kind of jumps and leaves all at once, and it's not a fun time. It's a very unpleasant experience. Uh, no, I, I like the Crystalline Velestra, but I'm going to stick with what I have. Though I might take the crystal, Crystalline Velestra. And I also see Sano's headband there, which, you know, not bad. I mean, can't blame a guy for trying. There's the hunter stiletto. Like at the end of the run, I finally find it. Oh my goodness! I also could put together like the big summoner's manual, whatever it's called. Honestly, Sano's headband is also kind of iffy, so I'm gonna grab this. Then if I have a bunch of money at the end of the floor, I might just put together those summoner's relics just to see what that book is called. And then hope that next time I do a summoner's run, the game decides to give me a bunch of summoner's relics. That would be fun. Like, including the new cursed book. Like, all of that sounds like it would be very interesting. I would love to do a summoner's run where I acquire all of those things. There's a little bit left down here for me to do. Might as well do it.
And that's what you get. Oh my god, I hate you guys. I hate you guys so much. I don't see anything here I really want. I'm just gonna say no. No thank you. Beat him before he could summon his minions. Just screw that guy. Again, I think I'm fine with what I've got. And there's a part of me that wants to go buy those books and put all that together. But if it's just to satisfy curiosity, I can do that with Google. Let me hang on to the money that I have, just in case I happen to find something like... The, either the Helm or the Dagger of Midas. <laughs> Just in case. Kill, fuck it. I wasn't doing anything with that signature charge anyway. Um, nope, I'm good. And again, I like Inferno Cannon, but just doesn't really have a place in this run. suppose I should give it just a little bit for the Flame Cleaver to... Alright, so... Alright, now let's switch over to these Spiraling Rumblers. Because they... Yeah, four out of five. That's much easier to handle. Nice. And it turns out it wouldn't have made a difference, but you know what? I tried. No, I'm pretty sure that this is not the right build for Super Sura. As much fun as I'm having with it, I'm not that well practiced yet. Said, get away from me. Ow. 
Owie. Cut it out. Wow, I really got greedy there. Did I mention that I'm doing this run after work so my mental my mental capacity isn't all there? And I am a little tired. As I said, I didn't do a morning recording because I just got super comfy. So I figured, alright, I'll do an evening recording after work, which typically works out better for games that I don't have to put as much thought into. Like, I should be using this time frame for Loop Hero if I'm going to do any recording after work. Which, yes, I do know that that game got updated, and I don't know, I just haven't checked it out yet. I don't know, maybe I'm just being silly? I like Loop Hero, don't get me wrong, I think it's definitely a game worth playing. I got healed after the credits, and it's also on Switch, so there's very little excuse. I mean, if you own a Switch. If you own anything else, aside from a PC, maybe I'll wait a little bit longer, I don't know what to tell you. Alright, that's enough of me. Thank you guys very much for watching and for continuing to support. Um, as per usual, do the YouTube song and dance. Drop me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe. I very much appreciate all the subscribers I've been getting. I appreciate all the ones I already have. I hope that you guys are finding me worth your time, and I will continue to put out content. Tomorrow, Wizard of Metal, you'll get to find out what the next song is that I build a theme run around, and then we get to discuss that song too. Oh, I have so much fun doing Wizard of Metal. And you might not get the most views of anything else on my channel, but I enjoy doing it, and I hope you guys enjoy hearing about it. So, that's enough rambling. Thank you guys very much for your time. I very much appreciate it. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.